Hello, my friendly acquaintances. I think it's time for a freshening up of the skin fade, a weekly beard trim, and I'm going to show you what my routine is. First thing I'm going to do is bring the, the stubble down to almost skin with the Brio Zero blade, closest blade that you're going to find. I'll put a link for it down below. I start at about mid-ear, going up to just below the temple. Pretty close. Let's do the back. Bring that up. right down to the skin, on the ears, right to the skin. That's the look that I'm opting for this time around. The beard isn't as big as this picture, which was one of my favorite haircuts and beards of all time. But just a shorter version. I'm not going to use a, a blade blade, I'm just going to use the Andis foil razor, which is the closest shape I've ever gotten in my life with an electric razor. It's sick. I'll put a link for it down below. straight down with a wooden comb, beard comb. I'm not cutting back here. These are the balls of your beard. Do not castrate your beard. This is the pheromone beard oil that I like using. And it works. I'll put a link for it down below. Don't listen to the, the naysayers and the haters. The stuff works. Take my word for it. How many more receipts do I need to show? But for the guys that got a girl, Soften up that beard. Give her a beard massage. Give your wife a beard massage. You know what a beard massage is? A beard massage is when she's laying on your bed and you literally are running your beard on her body from top to bottom. It sounds wild, doesn't it? It's a beard massage. And it's very sensual for your wife. Only if you're married. I gotta put this on the back because I just put a blade to it. This is, uh, I don't have the bottle here. This is uh, basically witch hazel with aloe and rose water. And just always use that as like an aftershave and rub it in, whatever. It just, it's very healing. So this is the deal. I just go straight back, but I don't bottom out of my neck because I don't want to cut any of this hair. The goal is this, to only trim the beard from about mid-ear up. I like the skin right here. This is kind of like the, the look that I've had for the past couple of months, and I like it. I like it a lot. So I even this out by just going straight back like this, but not bottoming out. And that really is it, just defining the bottom. I just, I want all this to kind of grow down to about here, like that, where you can still see like part of my neck when I'm wearing a t-shirt. But I'm gonna use a cleansing co-wash for the beard. All right, it's, you know, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's not where I want it to be, but all right, that's gonna get cut right about there. Show you how I trim my eyebrows. I used to sometimes I just like will run a like a, a like a three and a half blade over them. I haven't been doing that recently. So what I do is I comb up 
Because I got, I got some honking eyebrows, man. Comb them up like this, and then up, and then there we go, they're under control. And I got to trim my eyebrows about once a week. Everything grows really fast. Like the hair in my head does not grow as nearly as fast as the hair on my face. Let's do the mustache, straight down, smile. Okay, that's not bad. To the side, to the side. I'm not handle barring or anything like that. Got that, got that. Boy, just having the skin, just like down to the skin feels good, feels good. Now the top, what am I gonna do with the top? Now the top, top is pretty much already done. I just like part it and comb it to the side. But I still have to jump in the shower. I got this Wen cleansing conditioner, which I'm really liking for my hair. Margo gave this to me, it's Wen cucumber, cucumber aloe. And what I do is I just do kind of half of a pump that much in your hand. Half, half of a pump, rub it in both hands, one hand for the beard. And this will soften your beard without stripping the oils. The other half in the hair. This is a shampoo brush right here. I'll put a link for it down below. Okay, you go like this. And what you're doing is you're cleaning the skin underneath the beard. You're getting rid of like the dry skin. It's going right down to the skin. That way, if you're wearing a black t-shirt, like if your skin is flaking, because you're not, think about it, you're not exfoliating. You are not exfoliating the skin underneath here. You exfoliate by using a washcloth on your face, which I'll give you a little interesting washcloth hack. And then the pheromone soap for the armpits. And what I do is I always go back as far as I can and then just kind of massage the armpits because you're massaging the glands. And you want to do that. And then Ballsy Ball Wash. I'll put a link for this down below. It's uh, like Moroccan mint and it's, got, it's a charcoal-based thing, and it's uh, pH balanced for your balls. Sounds weird, right? Now we rinse everything off. Now here's a washcloth hack I was telling you about. Get the cheapest washcloths you can get at the dollar store or Walmart. Are they rough? Yes. Why do you want a rough washcloth? In order to, in order to actually scrub the skin. Soft washcloths are useless. So wet it and scrub away. Get your tooth brushing tablets, chew them up, don't swallow. And then always take some hydrogen peroxide for white teeth. You notice my teeth are white. This is a Friday. Tomorrow night is date night. I'm looking fresh, making myself fresh for tomorrow night. Squeeze a little bit in your mouth and rinse. Swish around in your teeth for one minute. White teeth. I am back, my brothers. Mission accomplished. Groomed up, ready for tomorrow night. I like doing it the day before, cleaning everything up and staying fresh. The beard is where I want it to be. It's probably going to reach my fall and winter beard goal by the end of October. So let's say by November 1st. 
and then it will be November, December, January, February, March. And then I will have this beard about down here, you know, like maybe a half to three quarters of an inch, a little bit fuller below the chin area. And I'll have that for five months, and that usually works really well for me. And then the first day of spring, probably go back to a modified goatee of some type. Take care of yourself. One of the things I didn't mention was you need to moisturize. I use witch hazel in that spray, that Fayer's witch hazel. It's the best of the best. I don't even bother with anything else. Just use that on anything that a blade touches, whether it be here or here or here. If you're lining up, just spray that on and just rub it in. You'll love it. Or just spray it on and then just fan it, you know, until it dries. It's magnificent. It keeps, keeps the irritation away. If you are like me and you lost weight, don't forget to put moisturizer on your belly area for the sagging skin. You want to tighten that up. Another thing is putting moisturizer on here, in this area here in front of the neck. So, you know, I will slather it on here and then just kind of work my way up. And that kind of takes out the loose skin and kind of firms that up a little bit. It really does work. Now that the weather is getting colder, you want to start thinking about using a moisturizer of some type on your skin. There's nothing cool about dry, flaky skin or dry, flaky hair. Find a good moisturizer. I use different ones at different times, and I make my own. Believe it or not, I actually make a, a animal-based product made from lanolin, beef tallow, and lard. And I put a couple drops of lavender oil in as a antibacterial, that kind of thing. And there's times where I will use that all over my face on really cold days, and I even use it on the beard, believe it or not. So purely animal-based, I love it. I do have an animal-based product lifestyle, and that works really well for me. During Shred Timber, I did lose so much weight and actually so much fat that even these shirts that I'm wearing are a little bit looser in the arm. I mean, you can see they're a little looser. They used to be pretty tight. And it's got nothing to do with having less muscle. It's just less fat. So, and this is a size large. Will I need to go to a size medium? Because I still want to lose a little bit of weight. I don't know. We'll see. But I hope to make up for that with muscle mass. Get yourself into shape. Get your skin looking good. Get your beard well-groomed. Have a nice, nice look that you refresh like once a week. You're not being weird or any less masculine by taking care of yourself. Have a great date night. Believe me, your woman, your wife, they notice when you take care of yourself. Perfect. And get yourself out with her once a week for a date night. Get a babysitter. Get away from the house. I'm not talking about ordering out and Netflixing for the evening, but get out of the house. I don't even care if it's for a cup of coffee and a piece of pie or going for cheap Mexican food. Get out of the house. Take her out. It doesn't have to be Fleming's Steakhouse where you're blowing 250 to 300 on a meal. It could be Waffle House. But no matter what you do, get yourself out with her once a week and protect that time and thank me later.